Welcome to a tour of the HOL Virtual Microscope. Our V-Scope technology has been developed in-house to not only represent the views that students would achieve when using a real microscope, but also to mimic the tactile actions required to adjust that microscope in order to view focused slide images. Uh, you'll see that the VScope software screen is divided into three distinct sections. The left half of the screen is a de photographic depiction of a compound light microscope. The upper right portion of the screen is the view of slides once they're placed and focused on the microscope, so the field of view. And then lastly, the lower right-hand corner is a checklist uh, for the student to go through to assure they perform the steps correctly for using the virtual scope. So let's go through each of these checked items, uh, which will allow us to both add a slide to the microscope stage, focus on the image, and then very importantly, download a copy of our work. So like any physical microscope, the first thing we need to do before using the microscope to view slides is to turn on the light source and lower the stage. So the first checklist or the first two checklist items for the student are to do just that. So to lower the stage, just like on a real microscope, we're going to click on the course adjustment knob and then slide that to its lowest position. You'll see now we have a green check. Uh, next, we're going to turn on the illuminator or light source. On this particular microscope, it's a little dial down at the bottom. Now you'll see our field of view is illuminated. Next, we're going to select a slide from the library and place it on the microscope stage. Uh, the slide library is titled at the top of the field of view panel. Now, our slide library includes over 100 stained, professionally prepared slides in conjunction with a couple of dozen of student prepared slide examples. Uh, for example, if we were to make a cheek smear uh, or if we were to stain the results of uh, some diagnostic testing, uh, we're able to view an example of those results uh, within the slide library. So uh, let's pick something pretty simple uh, to start with, a whole mounted amoeba cell. And you'll notice when I first put it on the stage that it is neither centered nor focused. Uh, so the first checklist for the student is to center the slide using the stage adjustment knobs. Uh, this particular microscope has two of those, one for forward and backward adjustment, and one for right and left adjustment. Uh, and then we do need to focus on the object. And to do that, we begin with the course adjustment knob. Uh, we move it closer to the stage until we achieve at least a rough idea of the focus of the object. Uh, then we can select the fine adjustment knob to do just that and fine tune uh, the focus on the cells. Uh, we can now, if we would like, continue to pan around the image to select a particular cell or a group of cells. And again, we can do that both forwards and backwards and right and left. Uh, when we're ready to increase the magnification, we just click on the turret of the microscope. And here we see that we're currently using the four power, low power lens, uh, but we can also select between the 10 power objective lens or the 40 power. Now within each of these lenses, again, we will have the ability to pan around that slide. And then when we find the desired object, we can fine tune the focusing 
to make that as clear as possible. Uh, you know, amoebas are pretty large cells, but we'll go ahead and attempt to view that under the highest power. There we go. And again, we can pan around, but it looks like it's already centered. And then we can adjust the fine focus knob uh, to bring it into our desired focus to see whatever cellular structure we may be expected uh, to see at this level of magnification. Well, we're happy as a student with both the what we are viewing uh, through through the lens and its level of focus, we can then download the image. And when we download the image, you can see here a JPEG file is then stored on our computing device. With this image, uh, we can then share our results of viewing the cells and focusing uh, our images with our instructor. Uh, so if you are using, for example, the HOL Cloud Lab Manual platform in conjunction with the virtual microscope software, uh, we have a series of image upload panels built into our content that allow the student to simply drag and drop this JPEG file straight into the upload panel. Now, one thing important to keep in mind is that if we do not properly focus as a student, as a user, on an image, and then we hit download, that we will download a blurry image. Uh, so as an educator, this gives you an excellent opportunity to assess that your students are properly focusing on the objects that you've selected uh, for them to locate on any given slide. Uh, quickly, we're going to take a look at another slide uh, just to see an example of variety that is offered uh, within the library. So to remove the slide, I am going to, just like a real microscope, return to the lowest power objective and lower the stage. Uh, once I've done that, I can then enter the slide library again and choose a new slide to view. Uh, we've looked at a single cell already, so let's look at a tissue sample now, uh, if we can find something that looks appropriate. So uh, maybe some human epithelial tissue. Let's see what appears on that. Again, now that the slide is on our stage, uh, we can pan around the slide and then bring the object into focus. You can already tell the level of detail is quite a bit higher on this histology sample than on our single amoeba cell. So we're definitely going to need to increase the power of magnification. Again, by clicking on the turret, we can select 10 power, uh, we can do some fine tuning on that focus. By the way, not only can students use the focusing dials and ruler features, uh, but all tools on the virtual microscope are keyboard accessible. So students can use the up and down arrows uh, as appropriate to fine tune the image. Uh, and then lastly, let's look at this under high power. And we can fine tune the focus one more time. So that the nuclei of those cells appear properly. Uh, we can still pan around this image if we'd like. If we don't think we're seeing quite the object that's being requested of us. And again, we can uh, move up and down through the tissue sample. So if we need to see uh, the surface layer on those cells, we can do that too. Again, once the proper focus is achieved, as a student, we can download the image. And in just a moment, it'll create a new JPEG file on our device that we can then share with our instructor. So thank you so much for viewing this tour of the HOL virtual microscope software.
Uh, we're happy to share it with you as a standalone option for your course, or again, it can be embedded in our existing laboratory curriculum. If you have any questions, please reach out to us through our website, and your representative will be in touch. Thank you very much.